done some big movement projects and big sporting projects. So you did, am I right in saying you did your first marathon at 47 and then your first Ironman at 52? When I was 15, I had this dream of doing a marathon. 32 years later, I finally did it. (laughs) I always had it in the back of my mind and I thought I wasn't a runner. I thought I wasn't an endurance athlete. I had all these kind of self-imposed limiting beliefs about it all. And I reached the dad, the age my dad was when he died, 47, and I thought, you know what, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. But I did the training. I was really slow. It looked like I was going to come in borderline on where they close down the roads and you have to run on the footpath and you don't even get to finish in the stadium, all that stuff. But I thought, I'm still going to do it. You know, someone has to come last. And I'd n- always been scared of that before when I was a younger woman. I thought, I can't do it if I'm not going to be really good. And mm-hmm. it stopped me doing a lot of things in my life. So I've talked about this so many times and I still get teary. It was most one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I finished an hour earlier than or more than an hour earlier than what I was expecting. So my family weren't even there. They were (laughs) at the train station somewhere ages away. One of the best things about ageing and I think menopause transition where you're losing your reproductive hormones, for some reason I feel like it has given me a lot more ability to look stupid and not care about what people think. (laughs) There's a combination of reasons. 